to episode 27 of Rigor Mortis Paranormal. Tonight's episode includes shadow creatures, a dream, hauntings at an old farmhouse, a shadow man in my room, mischievous Duendis and elves. My name is David, this is Robert, Jasmine, and Corey. Hello, hello. Hey, hey. Hey, guys. What is going on, guys? Hey. It's been a little bit. It's been a while. Oh, we well, missed you. It's always been a little bit. That's why we start every episode. So I went on a uh, nine-state camping trip, man. You know, yes, we've been wow. camping before, but you know, it's usually a weekend thing. You know, we do it for a little bit, you know, a day or two, but that's about it. Actually, at y'all's wedding, that was weird cabin, so. Yeah. So, uh, but, you know, that was fun, man. I loved it. Yeah, that it was, was awesome. cool. You know, we all got drunk and had a good time. Got yeah, yeah. drunk and uh, went armadillo hunting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my wife's shoes. Yeah, really hey, you know, awesome. the, the usual. <laughs> So, what state did you go to? Okay, so we're in Texas. The first state we went to was, we went to Moab, Utah. Oh, we saw we the, had, uh, yeah, there. we man. passed yeah, it. Yeah, y'all passed it, that's right, man. That is awesome. Yeah. Looked interesting. Um, that was cool. And then from Utah, we went to Colorado, which was the uh, where they legalized marijuana, so. Yeah, I hit a deer up there one time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you I hit the deer, the deer hit you. It actually uh, hit me, son of a bitch. I vaguely remember going through Utah. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, Colorado, I'm sorry. And there's then, a uh, reason for that. Yeah, there's a good reason for yeah. vaguely remembering going through uh, Colorado, but I don't smoke. But yeah. <laughs> it does cause memory loss. It just causes memory loss by default. <laughs> you know, and then I forgot the rest of the yeah. trip. <laughs> uh, and then we went to uh, uh, Yellowstone National Park, which is freaking awesome, man. That was cool. I woke up at 6 a.m. to a, a buffalo right outside my tent, man, which is wow. crazy. Fortunately, nobody was awake, and I just told the kids, you know, don't say anything. Actually, they woke up, but I was like, don't say anything, don't move, don't do anything, because there's a don't buffalo even breathe. Like, within five feet of our tent, man. I was like... I kept on hearing, I was like, I thought somebody was uh, walking past our tent. I heard like leaves rustling. And you know, it was 6 a.m. and I'm like, ah, oh, damn. I was like, oh. I was like, what is it? Is this like a zoo or something? And just, I heard I heard it for like 30 minutes. I was like, something's not right. And I was like, that's too many people passing outside my tent. And uh, and then I heard snorting. I was like, oh. Oh, like, shit. I was like, I knew what this was. And so that's when I unzipped it. And I was like, oh, dude, there's a freaking buffalo out there, man. It, it, <laughs> it was, was a right. buffalo, right? It right? was. Oh, bison, buffalo, same thing, but yeah. It was huge. I saw that picture, man. Yeah, I saw all the pics, man. It was right outside. It was just laying. It was, uh, the picture I sent y'all was like another day. It was like the next day. It was just asleep in front of our tent. I was like, dude, seriously, man? I was like, y'all ain't got nowhere else to go. But, uh, <laughs> uh, but it was crazy. cool. I left yeah. my hat out there. He's chewing your hat. My hat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it would have been more crazy to see like thousands of people walking by. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. But I mean, I wasn't expecting it either, man. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, lucky it was a hyena. The right there, man. A hyena. All the really birds. I don't know. know I think they're in Africa. Where they yeah. live, but all I know is hyenas. <laughs> Tear your They're skull. Scary. <laughs> Did you go to the Serengeti? <laughs> <laughs> From there, we went to uh, Montana. Went to Glacier National Park, which is freaking awesome. We were way up high in a mountain, and uh, there was still snow and everything, and ice That's and all badass, that. It was, it was so cool, man. It's 109 here, yeah. but yeah. up there it's like what 40s, oh, 30s. Oh, uh, we were in the 30s. Oh yeah. lord, I'm awesome. telling you, man. In June. I don't know when this podcast is coming See, out. Hopefully, in uh, you know in June, December. Or in December, <laughs> and it's supposed to be 30. <laughs> But from there we went to North Dakota, which is the only place, and and no, I'm not ranking on North Dakota because maybe there's a lot of nice people. And then we didn't run yeah, into yeah, a lot yeah, of nice yeah. people, but we did. That's the only place we ran into some. A little bit of racism. Oh. Uh, where there was a lady who was about 180 years old. Which oh, they're right you there. You always get that. They'll tell, yeah. tell you right there. They got yeah. their old ways and shit. Old bitch. I guess. So I was like, <laughs> no. Just lost like all our old viewers. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. All you racist yeah. old bitches. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care if you listen to us or not, but yeah. all you older folks, I love y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah we love the older <laughs> folks, man. We do. We're older ourselves, man. But we're, we're probably. We're but you know what? They don't get older. out of that. They're just still like, you know, you know, the lady was probably married to the. Civil War guy, he's a Confederate. Fighting the Confederate. They walk in. Guess they ain't built the wall yet. Yeah. <laughs> we don't take pesos. Okay? I don't accept pesos here, so you gotta move on. That's some bullshit, though, man. It was. Yeah. So what happened? Oh, well, we just walked into this uh, store where they sold a whole bunch of different peanuts and stuff and uh, all different peanuts. Peanuts. <laughs> <You know>, peanuts. <laughs> 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 
Me das una bolsa de cacahuates. No, but this lady, we walked in and she's talking to this, uh, you know, she's a white lady and she has like two young kids, but we walk in and you just hear her laughing, ah, you know, yeah, oh, thank you, oh, yeah, have a great day as uh, the young lady's walking out with the kids. And, uh, and then my wife goes up and, oh, hi, you know, how are you doing, you know, how's it going? And, man, the lady just looks at her and then she just turns her face, man. So it's like, shit. man, totally went from like half smile from done talking to that lady to talking to us. And not even talking to her. She, just, she didn't story. talk. Yeah, she just like turned her face and like snubbed us big time, Sam. Yeah. I was like, oh, man, really? And then Yolanda's like, well, you know, I was going to buy something, but I'm not going to buy nothing anymore. And then the lady just kind of looks at her like, you know, excuse me you know i'm like oh, what the hell is i do and i feel like just saying you know what don't worry about it because this lady's gonna die in probably two days because he's like 180 so i'm like i don't give a damn this lady's gonna die so i'm not gonna buy anything well, man. i was like that's damn. weird though because i always pictured you as like a natural blonde oh i mean oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. i'm like as dark as can be man especially because in, man, it's weird of all places in Hawaii, utah i got a tan and I turn dark, man. I get I get stopped by the immigration when I stand when I'm in the sun too long, man. So, <laughs> but it was crazy. That was the only place. Yeah, you can't report folks like that because they mm-hmm. own their damn. That's that's oh, probably yeah. her story. Yeah, yeah. 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 And that's a small, small like town. That, yeah, she yeah she probably owned the place. And yeah. then not only that, if she called the cops on me, I probably would have went to jail because that was a tiny <laughs> town, man. And like, well, you're yeah, miss, man. Why the fuck it was Miss Miss? Yeah. She's a uh, sweet old lady. Shit to y'all. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I know. I'm like, damn like whatever but anyway that was it but after that uh it was pretty cool because man we went to south dakota from north dakota went to south dakota south dakota was way cool man uh, of course so uh, you got uh, we went to mount rushmore yeah, awesome man. and uh, uh the little town right outside of there was really cool super cool nice people this guy was telling us about the bike rally uh, uh, uh sturges yeah sturges yeah nice uh, yeah. Man, he told us some crazy stories like, yeah, I'm never going there again. But, uh, well, this was in, um, I forgot, it was another state that, you know, on, on our way back. But he's like, yeah, I went to Sturgis one time. He's like, man, I saw three people die. He's like, then, uh, yeah, he's like, the first one I saw was some idiot, some guy driving a motorcycle, and he tried to cut in front of an 18 wheeler. Oh. And he clipped the 18 wheeler on a motorcycle. The 18 wheeler just ran over him. Like, oh, nothing. It's just, it's like, men's meat. Oh, I, and, uh, what is Sturgis? Sturgis is a, a bike rally. Motorcycle rally. Oh, motorcycle rally. They have every year. It's like all the bikers, you know, they get, they go there and they get together. They just have a grand old time. All they do is drink beer and oh, wow. have fun, listen to music, and you know, have a good time. Do you need to know how to learn, or do you need to know how to ride a bike? Well, if you, it would help. I mean, I mean <laughs> if you're gonna ride a bike there, you should probably yeah, know, or so you don't get ran over like, by a damn or truck. Or you'd be like the other guy. Like I said he saw three dead people. He mentioned the first one. The second one. <laughs> He yeah, said so the second one, it was, and I shouldn't be laughing because this guy died, but it, it's like a windy road. He said this guy just. Oh man, yeah, they don't know. Uh, he just drew, he said he just drove. <laughs> he drove off a cliff. <laughs> oh my he, God. he didn't even hit the brakes. The guy just went driving on a motorcycle. He just drove off a cliff. What the hell? What the hell? He must have been drunk and just didn't know how to turn. He drinks, man. He just, you know, it's not, you know, riding a bike. Some people think it's, you know, yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, some of those, like, especially if you're going down there, you got to be on a first or something yeah, like that. Yeah, like, like second, you know. So this was all, I mean, I don't know if you got into detail. This was all one trip that he went to or he went multiple times? No, this was one trip. He said in one trip he wow, saw, like, three people shit. die. And then he saw two people get airlifted. Uh, that was the other thing. He they didn't. He goes, I don't know if they died or not. He goes, but then I saw a helicopter picking up these two people. He goes, I'm never going there. You know, I'm never going there again, man. He's like, I can imagine, man. man. Shit, yeah, I'm going to take a taxi to Sturgis. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was like, dude, what the hell, man? That's crazy, man. And then one guy, okay, here you go. I got to give this guy a shout out, man. On our way back, we did stop off in, uh, let me uh, open this paper here. <laughs> uh, we went camping in it was a real tiny town in Oklahoma. Here you go, uh, Davis, Oklahoma. A uh, little place called Honey Creek Campground. Huge fella, man. I tell you what, man. Nice guy. Super nice guy. I, I pulled up in my Suburban. I rolled down the window. The guy just leans inside my window. He doesn't have a shirt on. No, he no, he had a shirt on. 
but I don't know if y'all remember this show. It was a show that came on a few years ago. It was called Lizard Lick Towing. Oh, yeah. The guy's name was Ron Yeah, Shirley. yeah, yeah. The big guy, yeah. The big dude. Man, this guy looked exactly like him, man. And I was like, man, this is crazy. And I was like, dude, I'm looking, I'm looking at Ron Shirley here, man. He looked exactly like him. A super nice guy, though. But he's like, 99% of my clientele are Hispanics. And the first thing he tells me, I'm like, oh, crap, dude. I'm like, oh, how did like, we get there, man? Yeah, I know. I was like, one of 10. He's like, I have like, a Mexican friend. <laughs> I got my best friend's Mexican. <laughs> Getting Let me show you this chin. It's made out of Mexican blanket. No, no, it's super cool. The guy was really nice, man. I'm gonna give you a shout out on our podcast. The name of the place is Honey Creek Campground. They're located at 4252 Honey Creek. Well, I can't speak, man. That's like so it's much, like so Honey much Creek, beer, it's just not rolling. 4252 Honey Creek Drive, Davis, Oklahoma. Was it? Twelve dollars a car? Is that what it was, right? I think it was twelve dollars uh, for our car, and we got to pitch our tent there. The guys were super cool. We pulled up, and uh, it was him and a buddy, and they were just there cooking. And he had his little baby daughter, man, super cute, man, really cute little girl. It was hot, and they were just enjoying their day, man. They were they were enjoying beer. They had some oh, beer. Yeah. I was like, man, I, I know, like man. I know. I'm telling you, dude, that was super cool. And then uh, if you go back a little ways, there's a creek right there, and they did rafting tours and. All this other stuff, I was like, man, awesome, man. Super cool, man. They were really nice. Anyhow, if you want to like them too, they are at uh, at Honey Creek Campground. Uh, he says, like us on Facebook, and they got weekly specials. Oh, if man. you're traveling through uh, Oklahoma, you got to give them a, you know, give All them a right, shout out. All right, then. What's up, Ron Shirley? I'm telling you, man, I, he looked exactly like Ron Shirley, man. I, and no offense, guy, that's a good compliment because uh, I, I like Ron Shirley, man. The guy's a good yeah, guy. He's got a sweet ass. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I had to get that out because I, I promised the guy I'd give him a shout out. Oh, that's so, awesome, man. That's I just got to listen to the podcast. So. Yeah, yeah, oh, cool. But, uh, man, what's going on, guys? Man, no, anything I, else? No, no, no. Uh, uh, um, this is something that we were talking about earlier, and it just brought something to mind that we were talking about that, and it probably has nothing to do with anything uh, human resources. Oh, yeah. Me and his buddy were talking the other day at work, and we were talking about, like, you know, uh, HR incidents. Uh, I was uh, with my phone way back. This is back in uh, 2006, I want to say, 2007. I used to work at a... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, And uh, anyway, and during the summers, uh, nobody was ever there, right? Where I think when I mentioned, like, that, that it was the same one where I saw all those haunting things. Well, this was kind of tripped out, too, because it's something real small turned into something huge. I had to pee real bad, I remember. And it was the boys' restroom. I had to roll in there, man. And like I said, this is during the summer. During the summer, there's no one there. So we're busy cleaning up everything, man. So we have to clean everything. So I rolled into the restroom, right? And uh, it's just us and the other fellas working there. So as I go in, I'm peeing, but there's someone in the stall. So it's got to be one of us, right? Who's my boss? Was that during the day or was that at it's, night? It's during the day. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, uh, so I'm just curious. Because I'm wondering if there's kids. Yeah. There no. Now. No. There's no one there because it's the summer, like I said. And so oh, we clean oh, everything up. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so I'm, I'm, man, I had to pee. So I'm peeing there. And mm-hmm. as I'm peeing, I hear. And I knew it was my boss because, man, dude, I'm not kidding. It sounded like he was dumping water in the toilet, like you know, pouring water from high. <laughs> like you know, and I was like, dude, is he peeing? And I was like. And then I can hear like mid run like, <laughs> and then I heard him say, "Pinche Jose," like oh, and, no, yeah, no, that's what I said, no, and I was like, "What the shit?" Okay, well, that but that means. What do you think about Jose doing during the <laughs> game? <laughs> no, he was taking a dump. Oh, taking a dump. Yeah, oh, that's what it was. Oh, he, 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 was he was shitting. Yeah, he was in the stall. He was with the door <laughs> shut. Why would so, you? So, so he right. said, and what that means translates in Spanish. What it means is like fucking Jose. That's what he's saying. Like. And I wanted to laugh, but I was like, you know what? I don't even want him to know I was in there. That's kind of embarrassing. Yeah. So that was another worker that worked with us. He was one of my other buddies. So I take off to the break room, and I'm sitting there, and I see that guy walk in, right? And he's like, yeah, he's a real cool dude. He's a real happy-go-lucky guy. And uh, I go, hey, Jose. I go, uh, and this guy's name is uh, Rafael. And they, they would call him Rafa also. Rafa. The guy said, if you want to know his name, it's like starting a motorcycle with no gas. Rafa. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what he would say. Uh, so uh, anyway, and, and, and that dude, here we go again. He was a huge dude, but like, you know. Uh, Why is it all guys we talk about are huge? Yeah, well, this guy is not. part of San Antonio. <laughs> yeah, San Antonio. <laughs> well, he's not as a tablas, man. He's a flat ass. But anyway, <laughs> what happens is, is, like, I go in there and I tell him, hey, dude, uh, what did he do to uh, Rafa? And he goes, why? He told me, por qué? 
I said, because he was using the restroom. And when he was in there, he was, hey, man, it sounded bad, man. He was using mm-hmm. the number two, but it sounded like he just had bad diarrhea. It was bad. <laughs> he was coming out of the water. <laughs> and uh, he, he said, pinche, what's that? <laughs> and then the guy looked at me and he's like, Por qué, Roberto? Why? Why is he saying that? I mean, I was like, I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. And then he said, Chinga, he says, well, he told me in Spanish, but he said, we went to a buffet, a Chinese buffet. And he says, and I told him, I went to a Chinese buffet and I told him. He went up seven times to fill up three plates. And all three times he filled up that. He said, Cuanto ves? How many, how many plates is that, Roberto? I said, well, 21. Yeah. I said, it's 21 <laughs> plates. Well, I thought. Well, so why is it my fault? He says, not only that, I paid for a stupid ass and this and that. He started getting mad. Oh, damn. He's like, it's not my fault. I don't know why he blamed me for everything. That pinche puto. And he started like, I'm getting tired of this and that. So I didn't, I was like, I started laughing. I thought it was nothing. So oh, the guy man. comes in. My boss, he's walking in all, you know. <laughs> and he's coming in. He sits down. And the other dude, I guess he was still pissed. He looked at him and said, hey, dude. He says, hey, what's, what? He told him and I was, when he walked in, he was like, que chingas tienes? Like, you know, and he looked. Yeah. And he's like, well, what the fuck's up? He told him and the other guy's like, que pendejo? You know, like, what? What are you talking about? And then this dude throws me under the bus. Hey, Robert told me that you were inside the restroom and all that choro you had, and you said, Pincho, I said, Why is it my fault? <laughs> and he looked at me, the boss looked at me, he's like, Aww. And then he got mad. He was like, Well, what was your fucking fault? And he goes, well, Why the fuck is it my fault? You know, I didn't tell you that. You got 20, vente uno platos pa. He's like, Telling him, You got 21 plates. And he's like, Whoa. I mean, you, you're the one who wanted to go to the, I wanted to go to Waterberg. He goes, uh, he goes, but he was like, it didn't seem like it because you got 21 places. Yeah, so there are 21 places. What he the said hell? that, but th- what happens is these guys start really arguing, man. They start telling each other shit. And they start telling each other shit. Like, fuck you, man. And I'm tired of your bullshit. Well, Chinga, I'm getting tired of your shit. And this and that back and forth. They're talking shit. That's so they, the boss, though? Yeah. Damn, that's the crazy. Boss, so the boss that pushed him, and the guy got up, he pushed him oh, back. damn. And so we got up, me and this other dude were like, no, 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 stop. And he was like, they were telling each other shit. And the guy getting pissed, and he's like, I better watch your back. And like, you can't tell me shit. Fuck you. They're talking shit back and forth. <laughs> so crazy. the boss, he jumped in his fucking truck, and he took off. I didn't say nothing anymore. I felt bad. I was like, man, I shouldn't have said shit, man. I was like, sure enough, I shouldn't have. Next day, man, fucking, they got people from HR a representative oh, coming in that I started it that I instigated it we're talking about the guy having runs <laughs> so man and they were like yeah they, so I was kind of like the, yeah, I got written crazy. up and I got you know you got written up yeah, too just because yeah, yeah, I was lucky that that's real. all that I got you know because Damn, that, that, motherfuckers were pushing each other nobody mentioned that shit they just said it got real bad but they, they didn't mention that part yeah. Like, you get fired for fighting, man. My yeah. ass got fucking written up just for listening to this guy is. taking a shit, man. And then I, it was my fault. I shouldn't have said I thought it was funny. But yeah. it, I guess, obviously, it wasn't that funny. Damn, but a lot of weird crazy. shit happened there, man, too, man. <laughs> I, I, um, the other guy that helped me break it up, they call him Monkey Face, man. Because the guy, they call him J-Lo, too, because he had a puppy ass. <laughs> That's another writing up right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that, that deep end, too. I remember we worked a night shift. It was me and that guy, man. And uh, he, I always thought he had a little sugar in his tank. Ain't nothing. <laughs> that, 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 that's your business, hey. What did you do on your, on your own time? Oh, yeah, I mean, but I mean, hey, I got no problem with anybody like that. I really don't. But the guy, he just was terco. You know, he was a pain yeah. in the ass, you know. Like, he would tell me, hey, dude, uh, he got a tattoo on his back. He had pierced nipples and stuff. Oh. That, and then, like I said, hey, that, that, like I said too, man, but like, it was gross, man, because like, yeah. he said, hey, dude, check it out. I got my, like, he's bragging about it. And he looks right. Oh, like, man. Like, oh, that, yeah, no, I mean, yeah. but that was my boy, though, so I couldn't at first. So he gets his rowdy tattoo. It's like the a kabuki style devil. Like, you know, yeah, you yeah. seen that, right? Like, it's kind of that, like, yeah, that Japanese yeah. style. Like, Japanese, yeah, yeah. And uh, so it looked pretty cool too, man. So he's like, uh, and it's on his back, it's big, man. And he's like, dude, I, I gotta just take care of it, man. I just know. He's like, man, just, he calls me on my cell. He's like, hey, dude, I need you to do me a favor at 7 o'clock around 7 p.m. And I thought he needed help, you know, moving something or something. Yeah, dude, I'll be there. Just let me know. He's like, oh, all right, thanks, man. And so I get up there at 7 o'clock, dude, and he, he <laughs> <laughs> he's so annoying, you know. <laughs> He had his shirt off, dude. Oh, oh, man. I was like, what are you doing, man? I was like, because I thought he was there. Nah, dude, what are you doing? And, cause, and he's like, uh, hey, dude, can you put this ointment on my tattoo, man? I just like, uh, I was like, fuck no, man. Oh, oh, oh. Like, what the fuck's the matter with you, man? Don't you call me at 7 tonight to put ointment <laughs> yeah, on But that's what he told me. Well, that's what I called you up for. I was like, fuck, I didn't know you called me for that, dude. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that's what I was saying, like, for... 
Because the thing is, because uh, <laughs> my boss, he, he just pops up in the time. I could just imagine just rubbing that shit on his, oh, massaging it on his stuff. And my boss walking in. <laughs> oh, that didn't happen, man. But anyway, dude, he was, he was pissed with me, too, dude. Oh, come on, dude, I can't reach you. That's me. I was like, no, man. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm sorry, bro. I can't do that, man. Like, that, that's a little crossing the line there, man. I was like, I don't give a fuck, man. You're my boy and everything, but that, I, yeah, I can't but do that, bro. And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, man, there was a lot of crazy things there, though. But uh, uh, that's the first time I ever really learned about HR. And, like, I guess I could have yeah. took that guy, but I wasn't going to do that, man. That's just... crazy. You know, it's weird because most of the companies I work for were usually small. And HR is like a tiny department, you know. And uh, But you're right. And, but they always grew. And then it turned in anything you do is serious. You know, you fart in public. Yeah. I mean, you know, what, what it HR, is, or it, it, you don't it, wear deodorant. Yeah, you know they can't take you for that. Man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're not, if you don't, saying, yeah, you're you not. You get drunk at work. It's yeah, no. Bad. Yeah, dumb things. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty. Dumb. Yeah, pinch somebody's ass. Come on, man. <laughs> no, but that's the thing. It's like they want to make an example of your ass too sometimes too. So yeah, and it, it, it's weird, man. But like, uh, I guess I shouldn't have said anything because I thought it was funny, man. And I guess I mean that's not so funny if it's you, man. But I mean, but man, the guy had it bad too, man. It sounded like somebody just got like a. A uh, five gallon bucket and just emptied it. Like they were trying to flush the toilet because it was clogged, <laughs> but like it was just pouring in like that. And I was like, oh, it, 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 it. And I was like, <laughs> I, I thought that was funny, but, then, yeah, but, okay, I, but, yeah. but they didn't. So I, that's the last yeah. time I. They kind of kissed and made up like a day later. Oh, did they? Really? And they, they acted like I was in that. Yeah, so they, you were, like, you're the one that got in trouble for the whole thing. So, that yeah, sucks, that's... that's a... <laughs> anyway, hey, man, you know what? Maybe we should do that first one. What do you think, fellas? Yeah, yeah get into the stories. Oh, yeah, forgot about stories. We got stories, don't we? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, the first one, yeah, let's do this. Uh, Shadow Creatures, a dream? With a question mark at the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. All right, this story is from Aubrey Turner from Illinois. I had this dream somewhere in November of 2016 when I was going through a lot and I was weighed down emotionally. Anyways, the dream didn't seem like an actual dream. I woke up in the dream and I was in my room. The hall light was on so there was a little light coming to my small rectangular room. This shadow person who was round and seemed about four feet tall stood by my door staring at me. Then there was this other one who was skinny and about two and a half feet tall. They kept on running into the wall where the top of my head was facing. It would magically come back running through my doorway then back into that same spot where it disappeared, which is near my closet. As I saw these two creatures, my heart began to pound. Cold sweat poured on my forehead and my heart was in my mouth. I woke up in fear and the two creatures weren't there. My room was colder than usual and I ended up sleeping with my dog. I'm not too sure what that meant, but it freaked me out for a while where I even drew the dream out. Thanks for listening to my story and continue doing what you do. Man. Wow. <laughs> like, Dude, I said, we both started here, but I was just like, we both kind of freaked out on this, and it's like, it's kind of crazy, man. Four foot tall, and another one is two and a half foot tall. These shadows just like, you know, standing it's by the like bedside. Children almost. I mean, but then one's chubby and the other one's skinny. Yeah, they had the number 10 there. Yeah. I don't know what's going on with that. What's it say about the, I didn't understand about the banging on the, 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 Side she said head. one kept running into the wall right where her head was. That was crazy, right? Side. Yeah. And that she would reappear or something like that? It right? would it would disappear and then run back in the door. Disappear and then run back through the door. Was that so. a dream or was that something that she, she said was it was seen? a dream but it seemed real. Like it, not, it almost yeah. not a dream. You know, it, uh, it reminds me, and I don't mean to change the subject here, Aubrey, but remember Steve, man. I always remember the story that our brother Steve, he was like in the middle of sleep paralysis, I guess. I mean, that's kind of what he chalked it up to. But he was asleep, and there was a head that was bobbing. Yeah, I remember it was like dripping on him. Yeah, he was asleep on a couch, and like he looked up, and there was a face that kept on bobbing down, like right to right to his face. It was like bobbing but towards he, him, he and it was, it was dripping melting. flesh. Yeah. yeah, it was melting and dripping flesh onto wow. his face. And the, the, the flesh, he goes, I couldn't see the face, but the flesh kept dripping onto my face. I mean, it was bobbing down like like they were bobbing for apples. And uh, he just said it was super creepy, yeah. but that's kind of what this reminds me of. I'm like, dude, that just, it's just weird. I mean, yeah, uh, I mean, not that they were bobbing, but it just the whole yeah. thing just seems so yeah. weird. See, that's that, another yeah. thing that brings up, too. Like, is that an actual haunting or is that something that just your imagination getting away with you like almost like a dream or something like that mm-hmm. that's what's weird i mean is you know sleep paralysis or, or you know is it real or i mean what 
I mean, what is it, man? That's just that's weird, though. I'd like to see the drawing, though. She said she drew it. You know, that would be so that cool. Be yeah, she man, can't man if you could, Aubrey, to send it our way, that'd be super cool to see that. Um, it, it, it just because I was wondering about shit like that too. Like, hey, are you all the way awake? Is that an actual haunting? What is that? And then we we came up with that when we were looking into sleep paralysis. There was a big thing that said that um, during that time, a lot of people that go through sleep paralysis as a as a scientific point of view that a lot of them come back saying there's some kind of uh, uh, terror involved in it whether it be paranormal there was a big part or right. just uh, a horrible incident that may be happening that their mind is seeing this at the same time that they're not fully awake or fully asleep and that's kind of weird man we always come up with the, the shadow people it's always the same shit also yeah. well she did say she was going a lot during that time period so it could have been something Emotional like subconscious also, yeah it kind of makes sense that emotions would have something to do with it that's too, true I mean. yeah you know yeah. seriously and this is something so like, I didn't tell the, the wife about it but like, the other day I was I'm always laying down man but I was feeling sick <laughs> I was laying down, and I'm not kidding, man. It felt like somebody stood up off the bed, like they were sitting down and they got off. Mm-hmm. And then I started thinking, well, I rolled over, but what was that? You know, it felt like somebody like right by my head, like if somebody was sitting there, and then you roll over towards them and they stand up, like hey, you know. Damn. And then I was thinking, well, maybe my shadow, my uh, the fat landed on. Me. <laughs> <laughs> but I really didn't know what that was, man. It tricked you know me out, what? though. But this house that y'all live in, they all have experienced quite a bit of stuff. Yeah, but it's not real time. bad. And then stuff. the room that you're sleeping in, you're sleeping way in the back room, right? Or it's this one here. Oh, this one here. Okay. Yeah, that. Because uh, I know the other one over there in the corner. I, supposedly, yeah. didn't they experience a lot of stuff in that corner one? Yeah, actually, that one. Oh, that one. Yeah. Where the oh, urn. Don't you say my room? Don't you point <laughs> yeah. at my room? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, where the urn used to be, where y'all found the urn in this house. Actually, actually yeah. that one, it's this, I don't know. I think it's, it's, this, probably, it's, like, broad, it's right? like right there, though. Is that why I play guitar really good every time I go in there? It has something to do with uh, this game. <laughs> but, dude, seriously, another thing, too, and I actually text uh, the wife of this, too. I was at one of the service centers that uh, I work I'm not going to give, again, I'm not going to give out that where I work at, but um, when I walked in, I had to pick up some boxes, went in there, picked them up, came back out, and then, yeah, of course, man, I had to urinate. I go back in. <laughs> And I'm using the restroom, but as I'm walking in, man, I hear, okay, no one's in this service center. It's a real small, it's like the size of a house, but it's real small, and there's no one there. Everybody's out in the field. Nobody's there. I'm talking like every, uh, the, there's uh, offices that are locked. There's a, and it's small. It's not a big place. So you walk in. As soon as I walked in, and I went looking around after this, but when I walked in, I heard a woman humming. Oh, like yeah. a lullaby. Not a, I want to say a lullaby, but it sounded real nice, yeah. you know, but it didn't dawn on me. It almost sounds like a ghost story, but well, I mean... Well, I didn't know what it was. I mean, it's like one of those things that you hear, you know, people tell mm-hmm. stories. Well, I heard a woman hollering a lullaby or something. So that, 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 that place isn't parts. known for that. Yeah. Where was and I've never crazy? experienced... This is uh, uh, one of the service centers that I work at, you know. So when I walked in, it didn't even dawn on me. I was walking in, and then I kind of stopped. I was like... What is that? And then it stopped. You know, I was like, man, I know what I heard. I heard Damn, like, that's uh, crazy. Though. Though. But yeah, yeah. That, yeah. yeah that's, uh, because <laughs> He was a little bit. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> but dude, it took me out though. But like, crazy though, man. But yeah. though, man is, crazy. I don't know because the first thing I did is I text Mena and then I text my buddy Manuel, like he, because he's there all the time. Yeah. And he's like, dude, you got me. I never heard shit there. It's probably Which you. Mena's Robert's wife, so. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, 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 I text the wifey yeah. and then I text my buddy. And he was like, uh, dude, I don't know what to tell you, man. And he's like, were you drinking last night? <laughs> <laughs> That's beside the point. Damn, I know. But it's weird because it really is. That's so like, crazy because, man, I hear somebody humming. That's, that's well, crazy. It, we have, like, next door, there's, like, an attachment. But there was no one in there. There was no, I was the only person there. Did you look it up? Look anything up? I mean, like, humming in the civic center. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> it was like, man, there are a lot of kiss asses there. I was thinking it might have been the, one of the guys trying to get a promotion humming on somebody's balls. Can you hit a higher note? <laughs> oh man, I was coming to say something to say. Oh, my wife is here. My wife got something to say. Man, what do you got to say? Come on, taste it. Speak up, guys. Speak the microphone's on here. Cookies. Actually, no. What happened is that the night before, we were you got fucked up. Room, me and Kennedy and. <laughs> We heard can we go scramble do you hear that and i was like what she was someone's humming you know, and i was like 
No, I don't hear it. Yeah, that's weird. Cause that was so weird because when you call me the following day. So Kennedy's day, a granddaughter. So. Kennedy's my yeah, yeah, granddaughter. Kennedy is my granddaughter. This is my wife speaking. Mary Ellen said hello. hello, she, had, hello. She, had, she actually had, actually, that's weird. She did tell me that. I did tell him that. And I was like, what? When he called me and said, hey, that when it happened, or he had texted me, actually. And then I called him because I was like, what? I go, that's the part that, I guess it was the night before Kennedy goes around. Do you hear that? And I go, what? Because someone, someone tell me. When I thought, I was like, no, I don't hear it. Ooh. That's scary. Yeah. So, that's weird. Well, but it was like maybe it, 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 it was a transfer good. or something. Yeah. That maybe because that's weird. Like that you're telling me this. That place has never been haunted. I mean, I've been in that yeah. place a thousand times. I've never had any problems like that. Yeah. And I don't know. To this right now, I'm saying that it may have been my imagination, but I know I heard what but I, I heard. Never, but I never mentioned anything to you. No, I never did. I never said anything to Rob about it or anything yeah. until when he texted me. He told me that, and I was like, what? I couldn't believe it, so I called him right away to let you know what Kennedy had meant. So that's weird, man. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe a transfer, like a, maybe something from here over there. To here to there. Oh, well, man, hopefully, whatever is here, stayed over there. Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> like, they didn't come home with you, yeah. Yeah, yeah well, I, I'm not really, you know. Yeah, it's like, it's work, like, like it's said, there's nothing like, you know, I, I go around the country, yeah, blessed right. in the house. And, Right. You know, but, that, right. but that's true. Y'all never, I mean, even though there's been incidents here, y'all have never had anything malicious. No, no, no. Well, that malicious stuff when certain people come out of the restroom. Yeah, wait, yeah, that's, that's, that's a different story. Yeah. <laughs> vicious and malicious. <laughs> there are some demons in that pot. I tell you. Oh, my Lord. Well, that's just weird, man. I, I just, I, I don't know why I thought I had to just explain that. Because, no, that's cool, though. But, uh, uh, but and that may not be anything at all, but it may be, too, because, like, they're actually saying maybe it was something from here. I took over there, but it's just weird, man. That kind of reminds me of the time, and I told this story before, I think, in a previous podcast, where Andrew, uh, one of our good friends, and, and myself, when we were kids, so we heard a baby crying in back of a, a shed. Uh, we went into this little shed in our backyard. This is when we used to work in Lubbock when we were little kids, and uh, we used to chop cotton for a living. We were migrant workers, if you want to call it. Yeah, us you that. go to our first episodes, you'll know what we're talking yeah. about. Yeah, and why all our pants don't have back pockets. Man. Yeah, <laughs> we went into a, a shed that was in our backyard. It was a little little town called Brownfield, and but it was weird. We just heard a baby crying out of nowhere. It was just, we're like, oh crap, man! Him and I, we were like ten years old. We look in the back of us, and we're like. There's a baby crying right in the back wall of us. And uh, it was just a tiny little shit. Yeah, I remember that. And so, yeah, we ran around back and there was nobody there. There was nothing. That place. That house was, that's that crazy house. It was haunted like a motherfucker. It was haunted, man. So, yeah. But that's that's kind of weird because you said you were about 10 years old when this happened. Yeah. And and maybe even younger, man. It's kind of weird that y'all were smart enough to go back there to go. I did. Like, Andrew took off like a rabbit. Because you yeah. never know nowadays. Not, I'm not. This is a totally different story. Yeah, well, yeah. A lot yeah. of people are constantly. Well, I'm not just saying different. to make sure that everything was yeah. okay. That yeah, there really wasn't a baby, a baby back there. There wasn't really a baby yeah. back there. Well, I did. Andrew yeah. got scared. Uh, we both got scared. But I was like, you know what? I thought, what if it's a real baby? Yeah, so I ran to the back of the shed. And too. there was nothing there. And then I went back to the front and I listened. And you can hear the baby crying again. I was like, oh, hell no. I'm running inside. It was like we always say, like all the old timers. Because now you're saying, about that yeah which is true nowadays yeah. you have to worry about shit like you that because it is but like that. back then it was weird because what seemed in the normal to us back then is that probably is no, a paranormal there's right. no baby why would a baby be back there yeah and then that's the first thing that, as kids that's what we thought of was like man you might be right maybe somebody there's a baby right there but like we thought of it like man there's probably a ghost right <laughs> yeah that's I mean, what yeah, it, exactly. all the ghost you know, stories that we hear and shit man yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> don't chem on the whole hand yeah the haunted hole man <laughs> chem by his girlfriend or whatever but <laughs> um but, but aubrey anyway man that was a great story it was, it was an awesome story it was really kind of trippy man that's just it if you think about it you know you got these two uh really short ghost i mean i don't know what the deal is with that but it's but yeah it's it's a real thing too i mean because like the sleep paralysis and then we said remember that what's it gamma that chemical that shuts down our body so we don't act out our dreams like say like like we talked yeah, about this before like i don't we remember were, the name of it i, I it thought it was GABA, gaba or something like that because yeah hey. that's what we were making fun of <laughs> the remote. that's right like they yeah. were saying that it was some kind of chemical or something like that or some kind yeah. of that's it right, shuts our body from yeah from acting out our dream. Yeah. yeah that way we won't hurt our like if you're dreaming about fighting or like if you're eating you're not going to see me with a pillow in my mouth you know like i'm almost <laughs> done with it you know because it's it's you know what i mean like he's <laughs> 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 
nice tasty pillow. It's a pillow that I have between my legs and ass. It tasted good at the time, man. But uh, but that's what I'm saying. It, it, yeah. We think about that. But then we go back and then we talk about, and they have even discussed this about it being kind of paranormal at the same time. You know, people think about that. So it's just weird, man. But it was an awesome story, Aubrey. We appreciate yep. that. Yes. Thank you so much. Loved it. What do you say we go into the next story, man? Let's yeah, yeah. That. Let's do that. We've done a lot of gabbing ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how about uh, hauntings at an old farmhouse? There you go. Let's do that one. Hauntings at an old farmhouse. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't like to drink already. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know what we're doing anymore. But uh, <laughs> no, where the there. fuck am I? <laughs> but this is the next story. Let's just listen to the next story. Let's just listen to the next story. Let's just listen to the next story. This story is from Caitlin. Caitlin writes, "Hey guys." All right, I have a few stories. My first paranormal experience, my mom told me this one, was when I was two years old. So that was 15 years ago. Anyway, my mom and I were the only ones home and my dad was at work. She was in the living room and I was in the dining room. The living room led into the dining room, which then led into the kitchen. I stopped what I was doing and I just stared into the kitchen. And then, again, according to my mom, who's had a lot of paranormal stuff happen to her too, I smiled and said, Mommy, Daddy's home. There was no one in the kitchen. The first thing that happened when I knew about paranormal things was when I was in the third grade. I was obsessed with ghost adventures and ghost hunters, and I lived in an old farmhouse that we were renting at the time. The place was comfortably eerie. It was odd but not scary, and I had decided that it had to be haunted because it's old. My friends came over and we went up to my room. It was upstairs and laid a flashlight on the floor. Keep in mind, this house was built in a hill, so it was uneven as you can have a house. We finally found a place that the flashlight wouldn't move unless you moved it yourself. So we were sitting there asking the normal questions. Did you die here? What's your name? And etc. And then I said, if you're here, please move the flashlight. I kid you not. The flashlight started rolling back and forth and flickering. And these are all in capital letters. It was off when we set it down. So we decided to keep going. My friend says, feel free to take energy from me or Kate if you need to. No one believes me when I say this, but the left side of my body went ice cold and it felt like the energy just got sucked out of me. My friend saw me slouch and then I got the fuck out of there. The next two things happened in the same house. I was asleep in my room and I hear the door at the bottom of the stairs open. The only door before you get to my room. And footsteps start coming up from the stairs. My mom checked on us sometimes if she couldn't sleep. So I thought it was her. I looked at my alarm clock and it was one or two in the morning. To my surprise, it was my dad. He came up the stairs and walked towards the door between me and my sister's room. I said, dad and he just looked over his shoulder at me just there for at least 30 seconds his eyes were yellow not like neon yellow but a muted one if that makes sense i didn't realize it at the time because i was still caught up that he or someone to pretend to be him didn't tell me hi anyways he walked into my sister's room i went back to sleep and asked my mom if he had come up and checked on us last night he hadn't and he got home at three. After that night, I would wake up anywhere from two to 4 a.m. and not fall back to sleep. That happened for almost half a year. I don't know if that was just a coincidence though, but talk about terrifying. The last thing is probably the scariest to me. I was sleeping in my sister's room with her because she had the TV. I get woken up in the middle of the night and the TV is muted for some reason. My sister is asleep and there's a rustling noise. She had a small tent that she slept in sometimes on her bed. She had thrown it on the floor because she didn't want to sleep in it that night. The tent was wrestling like something was inside of it. It went on for three minutes before I had enough courage to say, Shelby, my other sister who was five. No answer. 
The rustling stopped for almost a minute and then kept going for another five minutes. I was too scared to scream or say anything so I just sat there until it stopped again. It wasn't sleep paralysis because I could move and I know I was awake. I asked my mom the next morning if Shelby had come upstairs and she said no and it was unlikely because that kid was scared to go upstairs by herself in the daytime let alone in the dark and we didn't have any dogs or cats because the landlord wouldn't let us so it wasn't an animal. Those are some of my stories. Okay fellas. That was a good man. one man. Yeah. That was awesome. That was like multiple stories but I got, I got, I do got to say something. Ghost hunters, man, freaking rocks. I, I used to love the ghost hunters. Oh man. yeah, always oh, good. Taps. Taps. taps, man. What about ghost adventures? Ghost adventures, on the other hand. <laughs> uh, well, she was in third grade. Yeah. Well, okay, she was in third grade. I'll give her that because she man, probably watched Honey Boo Boo and all that. Exactly. <laughs> Zach is kind of like Honey Boo Boo, right, though? Zach is like Honey Boo Boo, yeah. <laughs> He's precious. <laughs> I don't know about Zach, man. I, we, we, you know what? When we interviewed it, uh, what interviewed it? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We just interviewed it. <laughs> Joanne, right, Joanne? Yeah. When, when Joanne, we interviewed Joanne, she kind of, she, you know, she was nice about it. She didn't say nothing bad about anybody. But she was like, ah, you know, when it came to this room, <laughs> she, she didn't say anything bad. But you know, we kind of we, we kind of read into that, and we're like, yeah, we yeah, know. He, 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 you can tell. It was just like, you know, Zach, like, oh, oh, oh God, you know, <laughs> oh, this is the room. It's most haunted. Did she it's say he needed a break or something? And, yeah, yeah, start. Yeah, he always does. He starts yeah. punching in the air and stuff like that. Yeah, he had to stop it. Like, <laughs> yeah. screaming, swinging at ghosts. Yeah, yeah, like, stop it, get out of my mind. I'm like, oh, for real. That's okay. right, yeah. Well, I'm saying, like, yeah, that might come back and bite us in the ass because he may have some fool, uh, yeah. Zach. Well, I know, Zach, yeah, that's true. Zach has a hell of a lot more cool than we do. <laughs> but, but I do want to see Bless him in a, like, a real movie, though, man, because I think it'd be awesome, man. Like being attacked by a demon or something. Oh, like, like, Chuck Norris oh. or something. Well, yeah, because he would do it. Yeah, he would do it perfect. Like, get out of my ass! Get out of my ass! Or whatever, you know, that, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, yeah. every time you see him, he's, he, you never saw that, like, he's up against the wall and he's, like, punching. And poor Aaron, the yeah. bald guy, the fat guy that got skinny, he lost a lot of weight, man. He looked good. Yeah. He he always has to kind of like change his diaper. You know what I mean by that? Like he's yeah, got to kind of exactly. nurse no, him back right, to like right. you know, like the horse that's you know getting out of control. <laughs> like you start petting the side of him. <laughs> <laughs> like he's got to have full oats, right? Like yeah, easy, easy. <laughs> Yeah, like, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but the, it is, watch, watch on them. There's no way to compare them, man. Well, but yeah, that makes a lot of sense, though, right? I mean, uh, you can imagine that, right? Like, oh, I don't know. It's, it's horse, like a, a horse. Oh, we don't know that. It's like a horse getting a horse. You know? We don't know that for we'll, sure. We'll but. <laughs> he's a Clydesdale. <laughs> but you know what? Now, Maybe that's why he's where he's at, man. I don't know. <laughs> If, you know what? Honestly, there you go, Dave. They, that, 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 that <laughs> may be. Go. I mean, that may be. Yeah, yeah, we don't know. <laughs> and, and then I'll try to so make it on the travel way. channel, but I, I don't know. The man. whole story she wrote, all we got out of it is what she watches. <laughs> what is that? Uh, Did she say that? Yeah, something about still. ghosts, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? Hey, man, but. Uh, <laughs> she, uh, let's get back to this, though, because seriously, she was talking about her, her old farmhouse. And the thing that amazes me is I can't even remember yesterday, and she remembers when she's two. Or, you know, right. and, or when she's three. Well, and I guess those are her mom. I think her mom minded told her, her about the story. Yeah, that's true. Because yeah, I can that, see and, mom reminding us of the stuff when we were But then, too, like, because we remember some of the stuff. I mean, because we were young back then. What, four and five, men? And, yeah. Um, we're probably actually younger. Funny shit happened to us. And, and, yeah, and it right. does scar you, and you do remember stuff. Like, you think maybe that wasn't real. No, it was real. You know, yeah, you, you saw it. It, it happened. I, I was just tripping out on the kind of the stuff that she was talking about where, like, uh, she saw what she said to her. Her dad. But I feel like maybe it's circulating around her dad because it, there was, like, two different incidents. Yeah, two incidents. incidents. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Well, her dad, uh, yeah, well, she saw, well, that sounded to me like a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, doppelganger. A doppelganger, man, because her dad showed up in the middle of the night at, you know, yeah, 2 a.m., 3 a.m. or something like that. She said that the dad we, walked into the sister's room, so I wonder, because well, it's only... her room for Zen or sister's room, yeah. yeah. No, that's what I, like, I would 
I mean, I don't know, but but I wonder if she talked to her sister about it, you know? Because that's you know, what might be, yeah. yeah. That's true. She didn't mention like, she talked to her sister. Like, like, she hey, did, yeah, they she asked her mom yeah. in the morning, she's like, hey, did dad come up? And she's like, well, no, dad didn't get home till 3 a.m. Yeah. And I think when she saw it, it was before 3 a.m. So. Mm-hmm. Well, that, you know, the other incident was what? When he was going up the stairs, she saw him with... That was the incident when he went to his sister's room. The first incident yeah. was when she was younger and... She was like, hey, daddy, but nobody was there. Yeah, boy, this is the one that she was talking about when she said hi, and he had the yellow eyes, don't be afraid. Well, that's the one we were just talking about. <laughs> the Jundice. That's what we were just talking about. Yeah. Uh, that's what we were just talking about. Yeah, it's it's good 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 well, we're all in Yeah. Just, yeah. That, uh, yeah. Yeah, all of our stories circulate around beer, so yeah, no, like, no, but, yeah, I was, was saying that two years ago. Or? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that's what I'm saying is like liver failure. <laughs> but like, like, yeah. <laughs> you made me spill my beer. Yeah, 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 we, all of us here can relate yeah. to yellow eyes, man. <laughs> bad liver shit. <laughs> you know, yeah, yellow, just, yellow, yellow eyes, oh, bad shit. livers. That's all of us. Yeah, you know, that's right? why you're. Right? Yeah, we got the jaundice, the, the <laughs> jaundice sure. paranoia. Normal uh, <laughs> podcast. <laughs> uh, anyway, no, but that's a trip, though. Those I mean, are some, no, those are actually, they were freaking great stories. We're not making fun of you at all. We're making fun of ourselves because we're all drunk. Yeah, because we got yellow eyes. <laughs> but, <laughs> but the, but the, the thing that she was talking about also, too, like, that was kind of a trip, too, was a flashlight. She said it was off. They threw it down. They had to find that, which I didn't understand either. I, I don't well, know if they lived in a... And it turned like, well, she, like, well, yeah, she was saying that they had to find old. a level part of their house. Well, and, she, and she I, said that the house was pretty unlevel. <laughs> she said it was unlevel as hell. I mean, so... And was, I like the way she put it. I mean, the way she mentioned yeah, like it. Like a but, slanted house. Yeah. It's a slanted house on the... the, 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 the we walk like this? We walk slanted. Lean back. Lean back. We got to hold on to the edges of the house as we walk. <laughs> Just don't put your cups on the table. That's right. <laughs> but well, imagine they found a good spot. And it did roll by its top. It turned it, on. It, turned it rolled back and forth. So it even and it rolled flickered. up the hill. It flickered. The hill. And then this is another thing, too. Didn't they say that they were talking to the spirit? That's some scary shit, though, because she invited it to, like, she was like, yeah. And that's the one thing they said. Yeah. Do not invite it in, man. No. That's the last thing. Ta- she said take the energy from us, or right? something along that line or something. Well, I mean, it's just a trip, though, because, and then, too, like, Davey said also with, with the doppelganger, I wonder if that could be, man, or it could be that's a scary, demon right? mimicking uh You wonder if it is, was it a doppelganger? I mean, you just, mm-hmm. you, and it's weird, we don't hear a whole bunch of stories about doppelgangers, and we did, we mentioned one on our last episode, and, yeah. um, but, you know, you do hear that them occasionally and if this is one that's that's pretty crazy I mean, yeah, yeah. definitely uh, I mean the, that's just not something you hear very often the wrestling yeah that's a trip to the yeah. tent that, oh, yeah. well, I mean that would have freaked me out man you know yeah. and then we've all done that you know we, we make things enough on the ground, or she said they, she had an actual. And I, you seen those play games? Man, the, the rest kids of the have. tent. Yeah, that is crazy. That, I couldn't sleep, man. I would not be able to sleep, man. Oh hell no! Oh, dude, right. I saw that in a room too, and they popped yeah. up a tent in the room. And they heard rustling in the tent. Yeah. Wait, no wait I don't remember the end of the story. Did she leave the room? Probably. Or did it stop? I don't know. Did she I leave with her sister? I would have disappeared, man. <laughs> She, the sister was asleep. You're on your own, right? I'm out. I ain't looking yeah. around. I ain't going back in that room. That's creepy, though. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> try to wake her up. Hortensia. Hortensia, wake up. She's not waking up. I'm leaving her. <laughs> but, yeah, she did mention she knew it wasn't sleep paralysis. So, I mean, that's just crazy. Are you okay, man? Of course, yeah, choking on the tooth. <laughs> Go you chipped your tooth. I, I couldn't imagine story. to tell you what yeah. that was, man. That's some really crazy stuff, man. I would like to hear from her dad right. to see what's going on. Like, yeah. Why are you so yellow? Like, yeah. like, the same reason your dad's were red. <laughs> yeah. Our dad would, his eyes would be red like a motherfucker walking up the stairs. He'd be red looking at you for 30 day. minutes to figure out which one you are. Wow. <laughs> which hey, one is so Why is your dad so big? <laughs> It's me, Rob. No, <laughs> Dad, I don't have a brother named Jacob. <laughs> no, I would like to hear from her dad maybe to oh, see, yeah. like, Cades or, like, has he ever seen... Because it's supposed to be, like, it's bad luck, right? To have a well, doctor. I don't know that's true because, like, even our mom, our mother, uh, Robert and myself, David, our mother had so many stories to tell. And you know what's so crazy? Because she's got so, she's got Alzheimer's. And I know I'm heading the same direction, man. So, and a you few know, David, episodes... Man, you know, every time I meditate these things... 
I said, that's your new name is Dementia Dave. Man, every time you go, I don't remember that. I'm, I'm I don't down. remember that. I'm like, God, that's not, that's not, that's not good. Man. No, it's not a good name, but, you know. No, it's not a good name, but no, it's not. <laughs> but eventually, my stories are going to sound super crazy because I'm, I'm going the same direction. I can laugh about it now, and you know what? I'll laugh about it then. I'll be like, oh, hell I'll yeah. I'm too. Like, you didn't go on vacation, that's Dave. Not you're here the whole time. Pants. <laughs> I wrestled that's not that I buffalo. My pants. I wrestled the buffalo. <laughs> I'll be saying all kinds of crazy stuff, but you know, <laughs> it's you just, to, yeah, yeah, it'll be like that. <laughs> it's just, you know, well, what do you do, man? I'm just gonna embrace it. That's all I can do because uh, we're, you know, getting older, heading there. Caitlin, I mean, we really appreciate the story. Yeah, thank you so yeah. much. It I was mean, an awesome story. Oh my god, and thanks for listening. What is she, 17? Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Yeah, share 17? with your friends. Yeah. This okay. is so awesome, but. You know, these are the. This is like a target audience because. Oh my god, uh, and we're seeing so much shit. No, no so, that's what I'm just about to say. Like, if you do really listen to us, and you know, we joke around a lot, but we we love you guys, yeah, man. We and, and we uh. We're a bunch of drunks. Yeah, so, but we're, we're, yeah, Caitlin, you're too young to understand that, or at least we hope you are, because you shouldn't be understanding you this should stuff. Should be innocent. <laughs> All right, let's get into our next story. A shadow man in my room. More shadow men. This story comes to us from Jesse P. Hey guys, I'm new to your podcast and I thought I could share one of my stories with you. First off, thank you for giving me something good to listen to during my 15 hour night shifts. I'm a big fan of the paranormal and all things related. Okay, here's my story. I've suffered from night terrors since I was a small child, and when I was about 12, I saw my first shadow person standing at the foot of my bed. They only come to me at night. My father, who is religious, blamed it on the Ouija board that I always used to mess with with my friends. The last time that I touched one was when I was 20 at an old cemetery about four years ago. I've seen this shadow person almost every month since then. Every time I see him, I get an overwhelming feeling of terror and start to cry. I was married this time last year. My husband at the time knew about these things that I saw, but never thought much about it until one night around 2 a.m. We have gone to bed early because we had to be up at the ass crack of dawn. I was out cold when I heard scratching on the carpet. I instantly lost my breath. Looking down at the end of the bed, I started to shake. A huge, about seven foot tall shadow man with a tall hat glared down at me. I slowly slid my hand over to my husband, trying not to let the figure see that I was awake. I shook my husband slowly and he finally picked up his head and looked at me. As I looked down toward our feet, the shadow man crouched down really fast. Freaking out, I told my husband to look under the bed explaining what I saw. He checked the room and under the bed and saw nothing. We turned the lights back on and laid back down. I laid there awake for the next half hour clinging to him. When about an hour later, we heard scratching on the carpet under the bed, very loud and long. I know I'm not crazy because we heard it as well and checked but found nothing. I haven't seen it as often now that I'm living alone, thank God. But every time I do, I absolutely freeze up, not wanting it to know I'm awake. Anyways, thank you for listening to my stories. You guys rock my world. Okay, that was a trip. You know what's trippy even more about that? I think it's haunted our whole life, pretty much. Yeah, but why? I mean, what's the first thing they tell us, man, about the Ouija board, not the school? Yeah, that's that's inviting them into your life, man. But she's taking them to haunted places, her and her friend. Even worse. You're finding spirits. You're going I mean, it's a, it's a, I guess it's a lifestyle. Yeah, true. But well, if you know what you're doing, that's what I'm saying. But I, I don't, don't know, be I, I, surprised I'm not, when you yeah. have. This girl works 15-hour shifts too, man. <laughs> when the that's fuck does she have time? If that's a lifestyle I don't want, so yeah. she takes the Ouija board to her to the graveyard. Yeah, what does she find time to go to the graveyard? The, 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 I guess that's it. She doesn't sleep. Before, that's what's from the graveyard to the. the because she's been, it's been haunted since she was 12, she said. Maybe. So, that's true. What yeah. she's saying is. Maybe she was younger. Not the graveyard shift. She works at the graveyard. Oh, she works graveyard just, shift at the graveyard. Uh, oh. Crazy. But like, you gotta understand, back in our days, um, we were, like, condemned from using 
Yeah. Oh, um, no, yeah. It is. Ouija boards. And, and, oh, hell yeah. yeah the, really? I've never used a Ouija board. It's mine. still, I like, yeah. never. It's still I, I still have it. Yeah, and to this. I'm, I'm going to be 50. I'm 49. And I've never used a Ouija board yeah. to this exactly. day in my life. You know, and yeah. then they do that, this this weird thing now where they have the pencils or like oh, they have the it's fucking a, hand uh, things and. Yeah, but uh, the pencils is more like um, Charlie like Charlie. Those, uh, yeah, and then Riot did I've something the other that. day with, and I know it was How like Riot. How does Riot do this? Stuff? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's weird, I'm talking to my four year old. He's all something something spirits, and I'm like, don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I took him outside and had a talk with him. I was like, why? Why are you calling the spirits right? He was like, because I just want some ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm gonna be ice cream. <laughs> Hey, that's a good reason. Good reason. Oh, yeah, that's legit. I mean, I would do. It I was like, carry on. <laughs> Just kidding. Right, yeah, yeah. So, if mom had 15 hours a day, we could get you ice cream, baby. Shut the fuck up. I know I don't want No, but it. I've never <laughs> messed with the uh, with Ouija boards. But I remember, no. man, I went to the house one time and we made one, and I made it too. I was involved in making, but I was like, I'm not gonna touch it. But Nathan and Eric, they're like, ah, oh, hell yeah, let's do this, man. They did it. And my aunt, uh, our aunt, uh, you and I, Rob, our aunt uh, Tiki, man, they were like, oh, go for it. Let's do it. Man, as soon as she touched a board, man, that thing freaking started whizzing, man. And, you know, they, man, that thing was answering me whatever questions they asked it, man. I was like, oh, hell no, dude. <laughs> but I was just filming it. This is back in the old VHS days. I had a VHS recorder, dude. Because <laughs> like, in the 90s, early 90s. <laughs> and the dude's yeah. going places. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but that was funny. But anyway, America's yeah, like, home video. America's yeah. Funny. That fear was installed in us. And I mean, like, when we were young, they were like, hey, man, y'all, mom was just like, hey, you, right. yeah. you, you can't deal with those. And they just scared the shit out of us. It, like, it's guaranteed if you mess with that, you're going to see a demon. So I don't like, know. Well, I you know, still feel the same yeah, way. I'm yeah. Saying, yeah, well, do I want to see a demon? Or, you know, do I want <laughs> to sleep at night? Yeah, yeah. Or when I was in the... <laughs> oh, what grade was it? I was going to say second. That's why I was like, go with that long... I asked a stupid lady, man. I was like, God dang it. She scarred me to this day, man. In elementary school, I went to a... They had this... Oh, like a festival or something? A festival. Well, that's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> God, I can't remember that right now. But they had a festival. And there was this one lady you go into this tent and, you know, she would give you your future. Me being in the fifth grade, I was like, how am I going to die? You know, that's my question. And she answered me. She said, you're going to drown. Damn. I'm like, oh. Rats. That's why you don't shower? To this day. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, oh, damn. Why did, and, you know, as a kid, I'm like, oh, crap, she answered me, you know. Dude. Because Wait, she didn't want to, but like... yeah, but she didn't want to answer me. She didn't, and I kept bugging her. I was like, well, how am I going to die? You know, I kept telling her, you know, until she answered me. She said, you know what? She said, you're going to drown. That's like, scary. Oh, she said anything like, no. you'll yeah. die peacefully. Yeah, I know. You'll, right? you'll die one day. More, you know. Let's get more into this. Yeah, I know. What if but, she meant like yeah, you're going to drown yeah. in a pool of your own vomit? You know what? Oh, it could be because I've vomited get plenty sober. of times and <laughs> drunk and almost died. But, oh, uh, but I haven't died yet. But but still, I was like, that was a, oh, crap. Dude. I was I'm like, sure you yourself in a situation where you were drowned. And to this day, I'm like, That's what I'm saying. I've never seen him in water, but I've seen him drunk. But you know what? I think... That's I'm crazy. Hispanic. Why did you ask her that? You weren't scared to ask her. I don't her know. I was oh, just, I was, dumb. I was a dumb kid, fat boy. man. <laughs> <laughs> I was a dumb kid, man. You know, I asked stupid questions, you know. And I know all things I asked. Did you stay away from the water? I'm going to die. I'm like, see, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Yeah, he's going to die of a rash. An infection on your ass. Oh, God. Yeah, you don't wipe the. Man, seriously, totally way off subject. I'm sorry, man. That's just going back to that, though. I mean, to, to have the balls to actually go and do that, that's crazy. Or, like, something so out of your power. Like, that yeah. stuff. I mean, she mom, said yeah. she saw a seven foot, you know, figure. I'm like, oh, and my that she was seeing it monthly from that time. Yeah, once a month. Like, if once you don't a month. know how to shut those things down, and I know a lot of people, oh, we do know how to work it, we do know how to do this and that. But sometimes that's not enough, you know. So, and I'm not lecturing. I don't mean I don't have no. Play, but I'm just that's just weird. I don't see how anybody can deal with those men. Right. I, I'm just sometimes so, you're it's just me though, because I'm it's scared like of us drinking, things. man. It's something we like to do. They like the adrenaline. And yeah, that's true too. Yeah, something you know, weird like, like that. You know. And at least they could say that, like, yeah, well, you know, we went to and that, but that's scary, man. Going to the already a haunted spot. Oh yeah. And taking that bad boy with you, we can board. Oh come on now. Jasmine's got more to say to this. Finally, because, man, more beer. Like, like, come on. Yeah, I, I think, think I'm anemic. 
What is she that guy even being she quiet? Needs more, she needs more beer. That's what it is. There's iron in beer, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's happening less, right, Corey? That's what she said. Now she's living alone. Yeah, now she's living alone. It's happening less. It's right. still happening. And it's still oh, that's what I want to know. Did her husband ever believe never, about yeah. it? Like, or does he still see stuff? Yeah, also? or like, did it follow yeah. him? Or right. if you're still good enough friends with him, if you can ask him, that'd be yeah. great. I mean, I'd be. Yeah, nice let us know him. what's going on with that. That'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That would be nice to get a little more insight of that. It's always a husband. <laughs> it's always a husband. It's a husband. keep saying that. It's what always a fucking it's always husband that never fucking believes it. That, I believe you know it. what? That's true, though. But that, that is very true. I you see. know, though, sometimes, after they, and even after they see it, right? After they <laughs> well, see, after they see it, I can be, I mean, I'm, I'll be the first guy to attest to that because, man, yeah, it's like, you know, they can tell me, you know, like, oh, my wife would be telling me, oh, man, I saw a ghost or whatever. But as soon as I hear, oh, hell no, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> yeah, we're moving. Like, oh, now you wanna move. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the way it always goes that way. They're dragging the kids by the feet. Oh, yeah. oh, that's natural. Oh, no. the, the, the house is uneven. Get out of here. The house is uneven. <laughs> yeah, but as soon as you get one scratch on your back, let's get the <laughs> fuck out of here, man. Leave. Yeah, like, leave the goal. Leave the goal. We're leaving. <laughs> that's exactly right, man. <laughs> hey, but check it out. We got one more story. We're going to throw a fourth more. story into this one. This is going to be a phone call. And this is a, actually a great call. It was pretty interesting. It's check actually it. awesome, man. Yeah, And you know what? Uh, again, please continue to call. These are they're starting to get yeah, good. Yeah, we we're like getting a lot them, of good man. one. Anyway, what, what was this one about? Uh, this one is actually a mischievous Duende. Oh, that's right. Duende. The elves. <laughs> oh, duendes. I'm sorry. Duende. Duendes. Duendes. I said it wrong. Hey, we may even be saying it wrong right there. Yeah. Los duendes. No, no, no. Duende. Oh, the elves. It's an elf. It's a duende, cabron. <laughs> it's AKA an elf, actually. They're like mischievous elves. But check this out. This is a really good story. Hi, my name's Kat. I'm from Canoga Park, California. And... This is something that my aunt and my mom actually went through when they were teenagers. So what happened is that um, in my culture, there is something called duendes or elves, and they actually really freaked me out. What happened apparently was that these little things would bother them and apparently crawl on them. My aunt said that she was always too scared and that they mostly followed my mom. So she thought at first, first couple of nights when these things started happening, they would go to bed and they would feel like any paws on them. They said, well, it can't be a rat because I can't feel four paws walking on me. I feel like if they were walking on two legs. And so what happened with that was they went on for a couple of nights until it, it got up to her chest my aunt's chest and she said that she could feel it breathing on her because she would feel the hot breath like next to her face or that she would feel it breathing next to her ear as well as it breathing she could hear it and this went on for a long time until my mom got married moved out of the house and it suddenly stopped happening and this happened to them for years from the time that they were like 14 up until they were like 17. Um, my mom got married around 18, so that's when it stopped happening. Man, that's crazy. Man. That's something that different, is like, man. Not necessarily it is. spirits, you know, it's, it's something different. Like. It's kind of weird to hear about these little creatures, man. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that is actually the first time I've heard of them. Yeah, uh, you know what, though? I had to actually text back to find out really because I've never heard of doing this in my life you know the L stories I heard but it's it's just, you know it, yeah it's something different and she was she was saying that there's like three different types there's the good evil and mischievous and I believe she said that her mom and her aunt were dealing with the mischievous one because they would hide keys and just hide things from them and play I guess right stuff like that you know yeah and cat claims to be like deadly afraid of them I mean because obviously like she said there was a red blue yeah. and a white one you know I don't yeah I don't blame her for being scared now. yeah yeah because <laughs> well I think they would trip me out as too she said that her mom told her that whatever was walking on them it, 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 First of all, she thought it was a rat, and I was like, damn. <laughs> and then she said, but, yeah, yeah, it was a heavy-ass rat, but then 
that it was walking on two legs, you know, like, and I was like, damn, that's, you know, that's probably scarier, but I actually had to look it up to see what it was, you know, to right. see if there was anything. What was it, Duende again? It's oh. Duende, it's pronounced like that, or else, or something like that. Elves, like gnomes, right, yeah. actually. Yeah. They look kind of like gnomes. And it was saying, like, they use them, like, man, they're, like, everywhere. I didn't know that folklore was that big. It's almost like yeah. La Llorona or something like that, you know, right. Chupacabras yeah. or whatever. But this one is, like, more of a, I guess, like, the Llorona one further back. But they have them right. in like uh, Latin America, they got Mexico, uh, and the Philippines, and I can't remember where else it was. I, I guess it was Central yeah, America so or somewhere. Yeah, Central American countries. Yeah. yeah, man, to see something like that, that's a trip. I think it happened in the 80s. My mom used to tell me, when well, I don't even know if it's related, but mom used to tell me if I didn't go to sleep in enough time, that little trolls were. Our little gnomes will come out. You gotta ask her about that. Little, that her her little, little, like big roaches would that would fly all over the park. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I do remember those days, Anne, when you were a little kid. That's, a, little that's little the mischievous roach. That's yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that, that's the evil that's roach. roach. That's a good we roach. Call him mischief. But I, I didn't know. I never heard of that shit before. I was like, you know, and then when we looked it up, I, that's what's always cool about people calling in or people writing in. I mean, because we're always learning something new. Always. We always got some kind of new, what's call. I mean, we get a lot of shadow people and uh, yeah, that's what goodbye we did. stuff like that. Yeah, but, we had two stories in this episode about shadow people, too. And they were we awesome stories, yeah. yeah they, they were, were great. great. Yeah. And uh, this is it's awesome, man. It's something new. I mean, you know, it's She said they would talk in the, their ears. They were, like, breathing their ears and stuff. They would hear, like, breathing their ears. That's what it was, right? Like, you right? <laughs> it was a pervert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Ooh, I mean, why a twist? <laughs> I mean, ignore. But it, 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 I mean, that's what I'm looking at. It like it was just like, well, it was a mischievous one. Maybe it just got bored, man. Yeah, they were like, fuck these people. Uh, yeah. Oh, being yeah. a black twist, no, man. No. I just took a piss a while ago, man. I was looking at myself in the mirror, dude. I look like Gene Simmons. And I'm talking about the hair, and I don't mean that in a good way. But on top of my hair me. looks pretty horrible. Just like, <laughs> well, wasn't it like Randy Macho Man Savage? Man, his hair, his hair yeah. looked like it's terrible, bro. Yeah. But his hair looked all. It looked like. Yeah. Things, man. Like, that's that's what my hair looks now. I was like, oh my. Yeah, he's a, that's but I'm getting it cut in a few days, so maybe I'll post a pic of it. Do on that. The, uh, if you ever wonder what, what he looks like, look like. Yeah. <laughs> just follow us on rigamortisparanormal.com. Follow us on Rigamortisparanormal.com. How does the voice go around? <laughs> if you ever wondered what David looked like in your life, just click on to rigamortisparanormal.com. I can't do it. I can't do it like you. <laughs> and if you ever wondered, the top five pictures of David look like this. He's actually a natural blonde. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how we got there, man. Yeah, we gotta do that though. We gotta post it though. We're gonna sure. do it. The next episode is gonna be nothing. We're gonna talk like that the whole time. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kat. That was yes. awesome. That was awesome. 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 That, was really that was a great story. Uh, and send actually, some more. Yes, actually, send some more. We need more um, paranormal news. Uh, Rick and Morty's paranormal news. Uh, what's on the hot plate? <laughs> Did you stop thinking about food? <laughs> more more stories about food. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, uh, tell, me, tell me something that's wrapped up in that tamale. <laughs> that's on that, that Rick and Morty's. Paranormal tamales uh, <laughs> rap there. Tell me. What's on What's that on chopping board? board? If you guys want to call in the story, we do have a phone number. You can give us your uh, number. Uh, number. You can give us your call this number. Yeah, the number <laughs> is. Uh, <laughs> Did you say that again? <laughs> I don't know. I'm drunk. Give us your number. Give us your number. <laughs> give, us your number. <laughs> give us your goddamn number. <laughs> uh, okay, our number here. Yeah, uh, definitely. If you guys got a story y'all want to chime in, do it like these folks did. They called in. It's a three minute call, so remember. If you have two parts, or if it's a long story, make sure you call back again and, and then let us know. It's part two of this story. And that number is 210-901-8666. And remember, folks, that's a three-minute call. Or if you want to email your story, paranormal at gmail.com. 
and that's probably the best way to get a hold of us. Uh, you can email your story. You can make it as long as you want, or you can even email us a uh, MP3 file if you want, and you can just yeah, uh, send it to us. Pictures uh, and videos are always welcome. Man, oh, seriously. Yeah, 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 that'd be great. Yes. Share them on our page. Yes. Yeah, because we'll put them on our on our website. Uh, uh, credit to you. Yeah, that's right. And so just send it our way, whatever you can do. Um, and now as we're cracking open a can of Pringles. Yeah, what's Mrs. Obama's uh, girth. <laughs> what the fuck? Michelle Obama is... <laughs> Never mind. What? <laughs> hey, man, this, but, hey, let's talk about this on the next, uh, next episode, but we have a lot to think, but... Anyway, well, we got some but, more stuff on the horizon, and uh, yeah, definitely. I'm afraid to mention the movie. Hey, uh, if it'll be before or after Patreon, Patreon man. Mm-hmm. I tell you what, Patreon, we've got some great people. Should have merch coming out soon, too. Oh, yeah. We're, yeah, definitely. Working so, it's been yeah. two years. Yeah, yeah no. <laughs> if you yeah. ever wondered if we had any merchandise, <laughs> <laughs> we don't keep wondering. <laughs> but we're trying, we're gonna get some, uh, we're gonna get some t shirts and merchandise and all that other good stuff, but. Uh, in the meantime, we would like to thank the people who have donated to us. We do have a new Patreon person, which... Yeah. Beck Purrington for donating to our Patreon. We love you, Beck. Yeah, Ooh, we love you, you got an awesome, awesome name. Awesome. Beck Purrington. Yeah, I know, right? Beck. Uh, uh, anyhow, thank you guys for being listeners and being part of our podcast. See you next time. Bye, guys. Good night. He's always in the restroom, but he says night. bye. Pinche José.